Well, I want to welcome everyone to the Illinois Watercolor Society uh, Zoom meeting <laughs> for 2020. Uh, we've got about 25, 26 folks uh, watching this presentation. Uh, this will be presented to um, the participants, uh, the award winners for the uh, 2020 uh, Illinois Watercolor Society show and um, there's been about 62 paintings that were selected out of 259 paintings all told uh, there were 145 artists 62 of those artists have been selected to represent the 2020 show uh, this is uh, kind of an unusual situation we're in i would have liked to have given this presentation to uh, the members uh, who and their art hanging in in the in the gallery but this is uh, kind of unusual times uh, it calls for unusual measures to connect everybody um, there's artists from 27 states and, and five con countries uh, represented here I want to thank you for selecting me to be your judge this year uh, this is truly an honor, and I want to thank you for all supporting Illinois Watercolor Society and for uh, making art. Uh, it's, uh, it was a beautiful experience to really see uh, the effort put into this, this year's show. It was, uh, it was an honor, and uh, um, it was a uh, an experience looking at all the art uh, i actually started dreaming about <laughs> some of these paintings and um, it was uh, a pure pleasure looking at everybody's art the 62 uh, artists that and 62 paintings that were selected uh, i want to consider you guys winners uh, you guys are all winners on, on for this year. So each piece is uh, is a winner in my book. So congratulations to everybody. Um, so let's get going. Um, I want six points to keep in mind as we're going through this. Um, and I tell this to my students uh, when I when I when I uh, hold classes. Um, I want you to kind of uh, look at art as kind of an interpretation rather than a copy. Right now, we're painting a lot from photographs. Um, that's fine, but don't try not to copy. Um, look at the beauty uh, that is in the art, and don't. Don't let that limit you from really using your imagination and um, for really painting. And that, number three, uh, don't let your capacity to, to see, capability to see art, limit your capacity to imagine the art. Um, four, design is so important. And we're gonna be talking a lot about design in some of these art pieces um, and how they were well designed. And um, design is, is a tool that we use as artists to really connect people to that art. Um, framing, matting, and glass are so important. Uh, although I didn't see the frames on these pieces, the ones that were not selected were not well photographed. So uh, keep that in mind when you're photographing your art. You never know when, um, pandemic <laughs> will occur that will limit us from actually seeing the art. So uh, those that were selected were well photographed and uh, so keep that in mind. And number six, don't let anybody tell you how to paint or what to paint. Uh, they're by negating points number one and five. So paint anyway, folks. Uh, I want to go through quickly 10 design guidelines that I'll be talking about this hour. Number one is boundaries. Uh, boundaries, the four 
most important edges on your painting are the four edges. Um, know where things leave the painting and, and when, when things are very important to, to bring to that edge or to go beyond the edge. Um, number two, space and division. Look for those big shapes within your art, uh, within your scenes. Make sure those shapes are well defined. Movement and gestural. This talks a lot about line in work. Uh, don't underestimate the power of line as a uh, design element in your paintings. Uh, line has a, has a very important feature in it. Um, point of view, definitely have one. Geometric shapes, uh, we'll talk about 3D forms and prim primitives. Um, I tell my students, you know, if you really want to understand the, uh, the shapes that you're making, understand the, the 3D form that those shapes are occupying in space. We'll talk rhythm and harmony, uh, having a flow within your paintings, both in shape and color, uh, proportion and perspective, all about drawing. Elements of contrast, meaning there's a contrast between uh, lights and darks, cools and warm colors, um, horizontals and verticals, um, near, near objects and far objects. Um, number nine, variety and unity. Uh, paintings, Look for your, within your paintings, within your subjects, that opportunity to create variety of shapes and colors and patterns and edges, as well as balance, uh, very important. And then 10, active areas and rest areas. Um, you try not to create paintings that are 100% on, all over the place. Uh, it's okay to have areas that are restful and, and quiet. So those are 10 areas that I looked at uh, while I was selecting the art. And uh, I keep these kind of in mind as I, as I am painting my own paintings. So number one, um, let me, uh, Make this a little smaller so I can read this. Um, can everybody see the, the entire image? Let me reduce that down. Benita, can you hear me? Yes, it's perfect. Okay, good. This is Alexis's painting, um, Rules of the Game. This is uh, talking about point of view. This is an, a, a very creative point of view. It tells a story of, you know, I've been in these situations where you're just looking straight down and, you know, from the seating area. Uh, it's uh, a very unique point of view. Uh, I love the lines. I love the story that it, it emotes. Uh, you've got a gentleman kind of educating his, his partner on um, the rules of the game. Very, very unique uh, point of view. Good job, Alexis. Alan's painting of the trolley driver is, is uh, a, again, a very unique point of view. I love the distribution of lights and darks in this one. Um, what just caught my eye is the reflective vest that this trolley driver is wearing. I, I cannot not look at this vest incredibly uh, the way he painted this it was uh, exquisite great job Alan and he does Steve can you make the pictures just a little bit smaller I think they're getting cut off just a little bit there, there you we go. go perfect thank you uh, looking to the future uh, look at the distribution of this this painting um, you know one-third two-thirds um, and this is the uh, the area of active brushwork versus quiet 
relaxed, restful areas. Very good contrast of, of those, um, those elements. Uh, you've got the warm up, up against the cool, the hardness up against the soft edges. Keep this in mind when, whenever, you're, uh, whenever you're painting, uh, looking for subjects to paint. Contrast is, is, uh, is a very, very important design element. Great job, Anita. Let me reduce that down a little bit. This one is a, a beautiful, beautiful painting. Again, great contrast of uh, hard edges and soft edges, warms and cools, uh, foreground and background elements. Um, excellent design and um, keeps your attention. That center of interest of that stamen right in here is, is a beautiful example. Can you guys see the, the cursor as well? Yes, I can. Okay, good. Very unusual uh, subject. Um, great use of perspective and drawing. Um, I love the complexity of the motorcycles, uh, as well as the, uh, again, the quiet, restful areas of the sky, contrasting with the, the warms and cools of, of the, the bikes. It's, uh, an, it's an unusual proportion, uh, very slender and thin as far as uh, layout, but uh, it tells the story. Good job. Good job, April. Uh, we have a question. Can you zoom in on detail when you're talking about something? Yes. Okay. I can do that. Uh, this, let me zoom out a little bit. There we go. Uh, Arena, this is um, Summer's Glory. Um, Keep in mind, um, this one is, is a, a very quiet, uh, soft uh, treatment on this one. Um, I love the distribution, the 80-20. 80% uh, 80 of the painting is, is warm and is uh, cool. And 20% um, of the painting is, is nice, occupying the, the flower or the floral part, very warm. But the, there's no pure white in this. It's, it's, um, it's, uh, it's got this middle value of, of uh, middle keyed, uh, maybe even on the lower end of the key spectrum, but uh, good, good distribution of values and, and, uh, and uh, the harmony of color and, and, uh, and temperature. Good job. This is Bob's um, on a winter's day. Bob, good, great job on, on this one. In, in the lines, look, you know, keep in mind the lines, huge diagonal right in here. I love diagonals. And then he's got a secondary player of diagonals. Let me zoom out a little bit so you guys see it. Uh, the main diagonal is right in here. And then it's it's counteracting with the diagonals in the slope of the of the, the hill. Um, again, good distribution of, of of big shapes and cool foreground and the and the hot hot subjects in the center of interest in here. Good job, Bob. Uh, 